All right, Julie, 901 now, and at least 26 people were killed, dozens more injured in a massive storm that ripped through several towns. 25 of the dead from Mississippi. Yeah, it's really devastating. We're talking about powerful tornadoes, including an EF4 in Rolling Fork. And again, the cleanup process just beginning for many out there. We also have a look from above. We sent Drone 13 mm. to capture this aerial view of that massive destruction. Fox 13 Chief Meteorologist Andrew Humphrey shows us more of the aftermath. This after the horror of Friday night. Some people were at home. By the time I got in the closet, I heard this, this train-like sound come over my house and it shook my house. And the only thing I could say was, Jesus, Jesus. And by that time I heard, oh, and my house started to shake and, and my windows was flying out of my house. Others survived the tornado from their vehicles. Me, my fiance, and my daughter, and that's when all of a sudden, the storm just, it just hit. Yep, a tree fell right beside my uh, truck and windows just started busting. One fell in my face, one hit my back. We covered our daughter and just started praying because what nothing else we can do. There is devastation for miles. Homes are piles of sticks and bricks. Cars are crushed. Forests mowed down and no more. It's like a a cyclone bomb type deal situation to where uh, just things are just totally devastated and you can tell that uh, that people were really in distress. Well, what goes through my mind is that really this is the worst devastation that I've seen since Katrina. The first phase of recovery continues. That is cleanup with people helping people from the government. So we're working together and the uh, the resources will be here. We, we have the strongest declaration that we could possibly have gotten from the president, both individual assistance and public assistance. From relief organizations? The basic necessities we're trying to provide for those that have lost everything uh, from clothing and uh, food and shelter, medical care. It has been uh, a labor of love and it's been uh, good to just really get in here with the families. And from neighbors like this local lumber yard executive. We also want to be up and running and helping out people as fast as possible. You know, we certainly pulled a few boards here and there. Somebody comes up and says, I need two sheets of plywood. I'm giving it to them. And they're dedicated to providing relief for as long as it takes. There's no question. We are in it at the state, local, and federal level for the long haul. We are obligated, according to federal law, to make these people as whole as we possibly can. We are committed to doing everything we can right now to help the community get things started back. So that's our focus. Survival and rebuilding are being met with a sense of faith. Why do you think you and your, you, your daughter, and your fiance survived? It was all God. It was all God and His grace. He left me here for a reason. And I tell people, I'm, t I'm trying to get people to see, you know, see the good in this because God left this place right here. You know, if he could have took this place here and we wouldn't have had nowhere to lay our head. And fortitude. I guess you could take it all the way back to the 1927 floods. You know, the Delta's dealt with plenty of hardships and it's still here. So we'll just keep the train rolling, you know, pick up and keep going. We're still alive. That means we can rebuild. Those are the words of a person who survived all of this. The amount of destruction here is matched by the resilience of the people of this community. In Rolling Fork, Mississippi, Andrew Humphrey, Fox 13 News. And if you would like to uh, donate to the relief efforts in Mississippi, you can do that through the American Red Cross. We have a link to their donation page on our website. So go to fox13memphis.com and find that link.